Today's date is the 3rd of the 9th, 2014, and this is the technology news as sourced from the BBC news website with me, Jekyll69. Samsung are revealing their virtual reality gear headset. This is going to be released with a micro SD card with a few different variations of 360 uh, wraparound games and uh, places that you can explore. So it's going to be just a small example of what their headset is capable of. This is being launched before the virtual reality machine from the Kickstarter backed campaign which is now going towards Facebook so Samsung kind of have a upper hand and so if you want to know more about the new Samsung virtual reality headset then you can check it out on Twitter because it is trending and you can also check it out on the BBC website but probably some of the best places to go about the virtual reality is the Samsung website and then check out the YouTubers that have taken the time to analyze it all and say have their say on Samsung as they will be more in-depth fans. I mean, I love the Samsung products and I love what they do with their technology. They kind of bring it out too quickly and too fast to keep up with everyone so that you're always buying a new phone or the new one in the line of their electronics to keep up with it, such as the new Samsung wraparound phone that you can see here that has the screen going along the side as well so that you can scroll through the buttons easily with your thumb on this side of the screen. Now surely this will be a bit annoying for people who are left handed who will need this screen here and they might have to release a left and right handed version of the phone. They are launching these new tech and equipment because their market shares have been falling steadily between April to June quarter of 2013, whereas Lenovo, Huey, Xiaomi and Motorola have all made gains on their profits. And here is a closer look at that phone. As you can see, you can have the camera, the internet, the mail, the contacts, the phone, and you'll be able to customize all the items that go down the side of the phone as well. The more intriguing bit for me is how are they going to take the virtual reality headset and connect it to the phone, the smartwatch, and their TVs and their laptops because the thing is with Samsung, the reason why I went for them is because of their interconnectivity that they have and without the interconnectivity technology products and massive technology firms kind of die out quick that's why other firms try and move into sectors such as laptops and watches but not all succeed especially with the patents flying around and the copyrights i mean it's really hard to take the same technology and change it in these ways the sony z3 phones and tablets stream playstation 4 games so you can connect your phone up to your controller for your PlayStation 4 and stream them live hopefully onto Twitch. Sony's latest smartphones and tablets can stream PlayStation 4 video games. Owners will be able to attach the new devices to an existing PlayStation 4 controller via a special mount to play titles powered by the console's processors. Until now this remote play facility had only been offered to the firm's PlayStation Vita handheld console. Experts said the feature should help Sony's kit stand out from Android rivals at a time when competition is intensifying. But despite the popularity of the PlayStation 4, they added the move was likely to have only a slight impact on sales. The Japanese company also unveiled a new smartwatch and a fitness tracker at a press conference in Berlin ahead of the start of the IFA Tech Show. The launches come a month after Sony cut its smartphone sales forecast by 14% for those financial years, saying its original figure was too optimistic. The firm's global handset market share has slipped from 3.9% to 3.1% over the past year, according to research firm IDC, as Chinese rivals have made gains. If you are a PlayStation 4 owner and you want to be streaming your games live via YouTube or Twitch, 
then the Sony smartphones will be something that can go hand in hand with the PlayStation 4, making it better connected. Now, if they can release a really good Sony TV that does the same, and I know they do have plenty of them out there already, but they haven't made a splash along with their laptops and show the interconnectivity, they should start to bring up their gains and marketplaces. So the software piracy suspects have been arrested. Uh, these suspects were selling illegally downloaded versions of programs via websites to people obviously taking all the games for themselves and the company making none. People who have bought these pirated software know that they are pirated and that by doing so they can release their laptops open to viruses and malware. The squad arrested earlier this week in Manchester where a 27 year old was taken into custody accused of running a series of illegal sports streaming websites. The squad also recently arrested a 26 year old in York accused of operating several boxing match streaming sites and a 20 year old in Nottingham alleged to have been responsible for proxy sites that allowed users to circumvent blocks on well known piracy sites. Apple confirms accounts comprised but denies security breach. Earlier this week, Jennifer Lawrence's phone photographs were hacked in by what they presumed to be the Apple iCloud. However, through in-depth investigation by Apple, they say that they can't find anywhere that has been breached by hackers to gain it. We wanted to provide an update to our investigation into the theft of photos of certain celebrities, said the firm in a statement. When we learned of the theft, we were outraged and immediately mobilised Apple's engineers to discover the source. Our customers' privacy and security are our utmost importance to us. After more than 40 hours of investigation, we have discovered that certain celebrity accounts were compromised by a very targeted attack on username, passwords and security questions, a practice that has become all too common on the internet. None of the cases we have investigated has resulted from any breach in any of Apple's systems, including iCloud or Find My iPhone. We are continuing to work with law enforcement to help identify the criminals involved. The FBI has taken up the case. So basically, Apple has said that the hackers got in through the front door rather than the back. Unlike the people that may have been involved in a credit card fraud with the Home Depot, US-based DIY chain Home Depot has said it is investigating unusual activity relating to customer data. This is extending back to April or May. So in other words, they have found weird things happening on with customers' data on their database, but they're not sure if it is hackers or breach or if it's just their system malfunctioning and playing up on them. The general goods retailer later confirmed that 40 million credit and debit cards belonging to its shoppers had been compromised over a three week period. Its chief executive resigned as a consequence and the company said last month that the episode had costed $148 million, that's 90 million pounds to date. Now here is a story that I've been following, not this particular one, but the story of women portrayed in video games for many years through the magazine Edge and blogs. But gamers have attacked Anita Sarkeesian for doing a video blog on the ways women are portrayed and think that they are are either dark or raunchy to make it gritty or they make them out to be more masculine they don't try and really bring out women as they are in video games and because of this she has received death letters and hate mails as well as mail kind of saying that they knew where she lived and that they were going to hurt her and her family to the extent where she has moved out of her house and into a friend's house to get away from it all. She runs a feminist frequency website and she released the latest episode in her series on the portrayal of women in video games. She addressed the tendency towards largely insignificant non-playable female characters whose sexuality or victimhood is exploited as a way to infuse edgy, gritty or racy flavouring into game worlds. Within two days she said she had received some very scary threats against herself and her family on Twitter, adding that she had connect contacted the police. I know that many games like GTA 5 and 
gang gritty games like that do show women in the way she has portrayed and there are characters within the uh, massive multiplaying online worlds which are portrayed like this however as a lot of characters are customizable and you can choose between your gender or fem of male or female these days then things like Skyrim do kind of have a balance because you can decide to be a woman same with GTA you can decide to play as a woman or a man or a man so it's not so much that women are portrayed in certain ways because men are portrayed as bastards in some games and as womanizing haters and as gang leaders and as corrupt politicians and as weak pathetic puny nerds so I mean it's personalities that come down to it in the end if you want to kind of be involved with this argument I personally think it comes down to what the morals behind a lot of the women's characters are and the stereotypicalness that is used in games like what women say but that kind of went out when the audio and voice recording and acting got better so therefore there's no real stereotype woman in a game as far as I see with the games that I play I mean I know there are plenty of independent games which kind of take these things out of context or in a bad way or show them in a bad light but they're independent games they're not massive firm games so where do you stand on this subject this has been the 3rd of the 9th 2014 and this has been the technology news in my view as sourced from the BBC website Thank you very much for watching and until next time, take care and bye. For watching this video by me, Jekyll69, remember to subscribe and comment to my YouTube channel for some more great interviews and reviews along with some more additional content. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Jekyll69 and like me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Jekyll69. Thanks for watching, remember to enjoy, share, like and subscribe and comment. Until next time, take care and bye.